Let us put our hands together for Kia because wow, the brand new Kia Sportage deserves a round of applause. This car is beautiful. No matter what angle you use to look at it, you will be impressed. I'm impressed because it has a sunroof. But there are so many other features I'm going to discuss with you. I'm going to take you through all the models, give you their prices, we'll discuss insurance, we'll discuss petrol, the cost of ownership, and then at the end of this video, you'll know which Kia Sportage is right for you. Let's get started. Without wasting any time, let's get to the prices. So, there are five models in total. Uh, the range starts off with the LX model, that's the entry level one. Above it is the EX model. And then above that are the three GT line models. Now, the GT line models are divided into three. There is the basic GT line, there is the GT line plus, and then there's the GT Line S. The entry level LX model starts at 539,995 Rand. If you were to finance it, 72 months, 10% interest rate, you'd pay 10,004 Rand. In terms of fuel for all models, they all have a 54 litre fuel tank capacity. At the current price to fill up, it will cost you around 1,200 Rand. Insurance would be around 2,300 Rand. So that would bring your overall cost of ownership for the entry level model to 13,504. Now I'm going to give you the prices for all the models. And then after that, I'm going to tell you the features and how they differ from model to model and which model I think is the best value for money. Now the 1.6 EX starts at 593,995 Rand. On finance, that's 11,004 Rand. Total cost of ownership after adding your fuel and insurance will be 14,504 Rand. Now, the GT Line models are in three, as I've mentioned. The first one starts at 649,995 Rand. On finance, that's 12,042 Rand. Total cost of ownership is 15,542 Rand. And then for the GT Line Plus, which I recommend if you're getting one of the GT Lines, it starts at 677,995 Rand. On finance, that's 12,560. And your total cost of ownership after adding insurance and fuel is 16,060 Rand. And then we come to the model you've been seeing on the video, the GT Line S. That's the hot one. It is nice. It is 734,995 Rand. On finance, that's 13,616 Rand. Total cost of ownership will be around 17,116 Rand. Good. So we have the prices and cost of ownership out of the way. Now, let me tell you the differences between these models. All models get a rear view camera. All models get heated steering, except for the LX model. All models get wireless charging except for the LX model. On all the GT models, you get pedal shifts, you get a power tailgate, you get seats that are a mix of artificial leather and suede. The LX model has cloth seats. The EX model has a combination of cloth and artificial leather. And then all models get front and rear parking sensors. Except for the LX model, it only gets rear sensors. All models have a 12.3 infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All models besides the LX model get a 12 inch screen, like a second screen, you know, like on the Mercedes uh, that shows you the speed and other useful information like that. But on the LX model, you only get a small 4 inch screen. The LX model also comes with 17 inch wheels. And you go over to the EX model, you get 18 inch alloy wheels. Same with the GT Line, but when you go up to the GT Line Plus and the GT Line S, you get 19 inch alloy wheels, which you're seeing on your screen right now. Now, unfortunately, the basic GT Line does not get the sunroof. If you want the sunroof, you only get it on the GT Line Plus and the GT Line S. And can I just say, if you are to buy this car, buy it in red. If you can't find red, then the white is also nice. I mean, the red, the red is beautiful. I, I am in love with the red. As I mentioned, all cars have the exact same 1.6 liter turbo engine that produces 132 kilowatts of power 
and 265 newton meters of torque they are two-wheel drive and use a seven-speed dct gearbox in terms of your warranty you get a five-year unlimited kilometer warranty and for your service plan you get a six-year 90,000 kilometer service plan with regard to space the seats fall down there is a lot of boot space available even in the back seats everyone should be happy the back seats are even able to recline and adjust so you can easily find a nice seating position for yourself there are rear events for the people in the back seat because it is very hot these days you'll definitely need those there are enough charging ports for everyone front and back yeah should be happy it's a proper family car it's a proper car to carry people with decent leg room also has a spare wheel and before i forget you can actually start the car from the outside using the key you can start it and you can turn it off as you'll see in this video I just wanted to say thank you we are officially at over 2000 subscribers thank you for supporting local youtube if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for just click the button it's done i'll keep on posting videos for you don't forget to show the channel to your aunts to your uncles to your friends to your cousins your colleagues so that when they go buy cars they now know what model to go for they now know how much they should expect to pay and I don't encourage balloon payments. If you have to do a balloon, you can't. Re you don't. You don't really afford the car. Don't do that to yourself. Go for a car you can afford. But until the next one, take care. Decided to have a look at this Haval Jolion, and the interior impressed me. I should review this soon.